Welcome to Komodo's Mobile Device Manager Installation Guide. Follow the steps outlined in this video for a frustration-free setup and installation. Before installing the application, administrators will first need to obtain a trusted SSL certificate for one URL for both the front-end and the back-end locations, upon which they intend to host the solution. Komodo provides these certificates free of charge. Please note, you'll be able to use a self-signed certificate if installing for trial purposes. For this demonstration, we'll guide you through the process of a single URL installation. After signing up for Komodo Mobile Device Manager, you'll receive a confirmation email containing a link to download the setup file. Before downloading the setup file, you'll need to complete a few vital steps to ready the environment for the application to be installed. The first step is to decide which URL will host the front-end and back-end parts of the application. You have three options. Option 1. You can install on existing domains for which you already own an SSL certificate. If you choose this step, you can skip to step 5 in this video to proceed with install instructions. Option 2. Install on new subdomains for which you already own a wildcard certificate. If you choose this step, you can skip to step 5 in this video to proceed with install instructions. Option 3. You'll install on entirely new domains that you do not own trusted certificates for. If you choose this option, continue on to step 2 of this video. The trusted SSL certificates required for installation are provided free for CMDM customers. Please note, if choosing option 3 from step 1 and multiple URLs for front-end and back-end, you may need to go through the following order process twice. To apply for your certificates, visit our site and click the Buy Now button. Select the region of your location and enter your domain name. If you're getting a wildcard, make sure to add an asterisk before the domain name. Now, change the certificate term to one year and click Continue to Step 2. On page 2, select Returning Customer. Enter the username and password you created on the Komodo Mobile Device Manager application forms. You'll not have to input the company details again. Input your contact details and leave Web Server Software as Apache MOD SSL. Leave the rest of the settings unchanged and click Continue. Now, agree to the terms of service and click Continue to proceed to the payment page. On the payment page, copy your order number and store it somewhere safe, as you'll need it shortly. You can now close out the window without completing the payment process. Now, send an email to customer service at mdmsupport at komodo.com. In the subject line, type CMDM SSL provisioning dash order number and paste the order number here. You can input your contact information in the message of your email and click send. Komodo staff will clear the charge and you'll receive an email confirming your certificate order. Please allow up to one business day to receive confirmation. If applicable, repeat the application process to get a second SSL certificate. Next, you'll need to create a certificate signing request. This can be done while you wait for your confirmation email. To do this, go to https colon slash slash mdmsupport.komodo.com slash csr slash generate. Log on to the Komodo web application using your Komodo account management credentials. Once logged in, select the Generate CSR tab and fill in the form to generate your CSR. You'll need to enter the domain name where the MDM is going to be running. Once the form has been completely filled out, click Generate and Download. A zip file containing your CSR and private key will be downloaded to your device. Once you've generated your CSR and received your free certificate order confirmation email, you can log into your Komodo account and complete the certificate application. Once logged in, you should see a box called Incomplete Orders. Your certificate will be listed here. Click the Accelerate button. 
The Complete Your SSL Request page contains information that will allow you to finalize your order. Now, expand the Submit Your CSR row. Copy and paste your entire CSR into the space provided and click Submit. Next, open the Domain Control Validation row and enter the validation code that was emailed to you here and click Next. Then, click Complete to finish this step. Your certificates will be issued by email once the CSR and DCV processes have been completed. Please save the certificate to a secure location as you'll need it during CMDM installation. Once you've received your certificate, you're ready to install Komodo Mobile Device Manager. Open the CMDM setup file and click Next. Agree to the end user license agreement and then choose which type of setup you'd like to deploy. Typical will install all components, while Custom will allow you to choose which components to install. For this demo, we'll choose the Typical setup. Now, enter the URL that will host the CMDM backend. This should match the URL in the certificate. Next, input the port number. Please note, the default port number is 444. Then, enter database information. You can leave the default host IP address as is, or modify it if necessary. Input the port, name of database, and login and password. Please note, SMTP settings are very important. Please make sure your company's SMTP settings are correct. Once complete, click Next to confirm your choices. Now, you'll make front-end configurations. Input the host URL, which should match the URL in the certificate. Then, enter the port number. Please note, the default port number is 443. Now, specify the location you saved the front-end and back-end certificates to, as well as the front-end and back-end intermediate certificates. You can also use self-signed certificates if you're setting this up for testing purposes. Next, specify the location of the private keys for the front-end and back-end certificates. Once complete, click Next. CMDM is now ready to install. Click Install to begin the installation. Once the install is complete, click Finish. Now that the CMDM install is complete, you'll need to activate your license. Open your web browser and enter your front-end URL address. The initial login screen should load. Now, log in using admin as your username and as your password. Please note, you can and should change your username and password after license activation. After logging in, you'll need to input your license key under the New Subscription Input Fields. License key can be found in your CMDM confirmation email. After your license has been validated, you'll be able to start using the application. In order to communicate with iOS devices, Apple requires that you obtain an Apple Push Notification Certificate and corresponding private key. To do this, in the Komodo Mobile Device Management application, click the Settings tab on the left. Now, click the APN Certification tab. Click the APN's Certificate button on the right. Fill in all required input fields and click Submit. Komodo will sign your CSR with their Apple MDM certificate and send you an Apple PLIST. You'll be taken to the CMDM Upload Apple Push Notification Interface for communication with iOS devices. Now, click the Apple PLIST Signed by Komodo link to download the certificate. You'll need to log into the Apple Push Certificate Portal with your Apple ID at the following web address. Please note, if you don't have an Apple ID, you'll need to create one at https colon slash slash appleid.apple.com. Once you've logged in, click Create Certificate. Read and agree to the Terms of Service and click Accept. Now, you'll need to click the Browse button to find and upload the Apple PLIST document you previously downloaded and click 
Upload. Once the upload has been confirmed, you'll want to download the APN certificate and save it to your local drive. Now, we'll get back to the Komodo Mobile Device Manager and upload the APN. Select Settings and then APN's Certificate. Now, select Browse and find the APN certificate file you saved to your device. Finally, click Submit. The APN certificate interface will now open and display your certificate information. CMDM will now be able to communicate with iOS devices. In order to communicate with Android devices, you'll need to install a Google Cloud messaging token to each device. This token will be seamlessly installed during the enrollment of each device. CMDM ships with a default API token, which is used to communicate with enrolled Android devices. The default token is hard-coded and not visible in the interface. You can, however, generate and upload a unique Android GCM token. To generate a token, you must have created a mobile backend project. You can do this at the following site. Open the Google API console. Now, click the Create Project button. After the project is created, the Project Properties panel will open. Click APIs and Auth, and then select the submenu APIs below it. Find the Google Cloud Messaging for Android service from the list and toggle it on. Review the terms of service and agree to them, then click Accept. Now click Credentials under the API and Auth menu item. Next, click the Create New Key button, then click the Server key in the pop-up menu. You don't need to input any IP addresses in the field. Go ahead and click Create. The key for server applications will load. Copy the API key. Now, go to the Komodo Mobile Device Manager and paste the API token to the Android Token field. Finally, click Overview on the top left and copy the project number at the top of the page. Then paste it to the Android GCM project number field on the MDM server portal and click Submit. You have successfully set up Komodo Mobile Device Manager. If you need further assistance, please contact us via phone or email. Thanks for using Komodo Mobile Device Manager.